Captivity is an issue which derives a great amount of debate. The constant dilemma is faced as to whether it is right or wrong to keep an animal from its natural habitat. Our actions as a whole are responsible for the growing number of species going extinct across the world today. The subject of zoos is divisive. The conflict between protesters and organisations is never ending, and one which deserves to be explored in greater depth. Paris Wildlife Park, we're quite lucky. Um, one, because we are quite a, a young zoo. Uh, we also specialise in getting people as close as possible. Educating the public is one of the most important aspects of any zoo. Sparking interest from being up close and personal is seen to be crucial, especially with younger generations. Um, and you know, a child can come here for a day and see these giant almost ever that turns into be his favourite animal and it does inspire kids, it does inspire people to, to come look more back to the zoo and to look after the animals as a species. Um, and we try and replicate that as much as possible with all the animals we have throughout the park. It gives people a better understanding and a better learning of all the animals really. So I don't think it matters which zoo or wildlife park or collection or aquarium and that you work in. Um, I think you strive to sort of educate people, to raise funds and not only to perhaps be hands on at times with conservation, whether it be in the UK or around the world, but just to know you can raise funds to help projects in situ um, and in the field. Well, zoos and safari parks play a key role, I think. They're legitimate and um, recognized as um, conservation organizations. But they play a role in the educating of the public, and the public does not get an opportunity to come to Namibia or Africa, where I am, or other countries in the world where these um, rare and endangered species and special animals live. And so as they come to a zoo, a zoo then has a really key responsibility to try to link together that animal that people are seeing with, we hope, the species survival. Conservationists argue that if we don't keep animals in some form of captivity, they could disappear altogether. Animal rights activists would argue otherwise through frequent protests and demonstrations. Hundreds of thousands of tourists have been conned, conned, cheated, lied to, all for money, all for profit, all for unethical breeding of lions. Education and awareness is everything you need, especially when you're activating for something, advocating for animal rights. It's to get the message across to, to stop something. The purpose is to raise awareness, the purpose is to educate. Education and awareness is everything you need. In an ideal world, there would be no need to deprive an animal of its natural habitat. Captivity will always be a subject of great controversy. I believe, however, that we must act as a species, sharing the goal of looking after the animals that inhabit our planet, the same animals that have fallen victim to our over-exploitation of the ecosystems that are home to life on Earth.